All right, all right, all right. Cheers, everyone. Jamal here. Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within 10 year anniversary run. 10 year anniversary of the Enemy Within DLC and 10 year anniversary of my Let's Play uh, back in 2013 and early 2014. At the time I'm recording this, it is the New Year's Day, 1st of January in, uh, in 24. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, put in, the, put in the comments when you are watching this. Watching this because uh, I love seeing the comments on in my old videos when someone is watching the videos in uh, in uh, ten year ten year old videos or something taking the time time to comment. So if you are watching this on twenty thirty four, do put a comment in there. Or even if you are watching earlier, put the comment there anyway. Okay, but we are heading into the production mission to get another heavy sergeant. Uh, we already have one. Hopefully they stay alive, and uh, we are going in with a couple of rookies and uh, and our supports. I think these are the only soldiers at the moment who are not rookies. Uh, so yeah, it's not it's not been going that great, but we are still alive overall in the game. We have just lost a lot of soldiers, and it's getting a little bit tight. We can't afford too many losses anymore. But let's uh, let's go into this one. This was a difficult mission uh, as far as moderate difficult very difficult um, Dropship has arrived. I think it means we will get four packs of enemies anyway at this stage of the game and maybe let's say 11 enemies instead of 10 um, it We're is April next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing it is April, so we are getting Shriekers, the, the invisible the enemies new in the enemy within. And as we saw in the previous mission, again. we are getting Thin Men as well. Absolute pain in the ass, Thin Men. Uh, Operation Pan is thrown. Let's go. Let's go and see what we have. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. We have a big building without roof. Uh, we have a back alley on the left-hand side. We have a lot of streets in here. And we have another building. And another building. Building in the middle, I think, has a roof we can go into. Maybe. Um, it's hard to tell. Uh, in this fog of war, I don't see the melt yet, but we don't really care about the melt. We will just try to survive this mission. Uh, in this one... This one, I don't see a door. We don't have much vision yet. So let's go. I think I will kind of head towards this back side here. We might even take the alley. And uh, kind of go towards this, this corner of the store. Because we have a couple of full coverage there that we can take while clearing the store. Uh, if something happens from that side, we have cover in here. And uh, we have cover towards the store on the outside as well. But I will keep my distance here. Distance here to the store, at least for now. Heading out. Aye, aye, Commander. And... Um, Let's have overwatches. I don't think anyone is coming coming to uh, towards us just yet. I see the meld in the back, so it's good to know. We will get the meld if we get it safely, but uh, only if we get it safely. So overall in the game, if you missed some of the previous parts or didn't watch them fully, uh, I think in total losses we are up to 8 now. 
as far as soldiers go, but as far as the base building goes, we were still able to pull uh, quote unquote perfect first month as we launched four satellites and we are on the track to launch three more this month. Um, but uh, of course, as I said, it is not sustainable if we don't start doing missions successfully. Um, we can start reaching these covers here. Covers here, but I think what I will do is head there. And not go any closer just yet. I'm on it, Commander. We'll kind of head towards that back corner. Aye, aye. Back Headed corner there, yeah. and uh, from here we will engage in these and check the store. Uh, maybe sh well, uh, I did try. I did my moves. Taking the taking the heavy to a cover already might have been a might have been a good idea, but uh, okay. So we know that that is there. Uh, I think right now I will I will take a look into the store. This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. Ooh, floaters. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Yeah, sadly we are. Sadly we are not in cover with uh, in cover with heavy. So I think I will. The good thing about these six HP enemies is that we only get two in the back at this stage. Um. Let's see, so you need to go in cover, and that would be here. Throwing a grenade from this side might be problematic, so I think we I think we need to risk another pack from this side and throw a grenade from here. Or do it from here. Uh this side, the lines of sight are sometimes a little bit finny, so I think I will check this now. It was unlikely, but there could have been another back there. Sometimes they are so close to each other. Uh, okay, this was a little bit what I was afraid of. So I think the other grenade... Uh, I think you need to throw the grenade, and then we go and take a shot with you and you. So I think the heavy heavy goes here, so we are guaranteed to have the lines of sight. And then uh, we throw the grenade and we'll position you somewhere good then. So let's damage all of both of them and remove all the cover for them. I'm seeing if I could do it without removing that, but I uh, don't think I can. Yeah, especially because we want to we want to remove everything. Okay, there it is. That's good. That. Hey, the date. How are you doing? Throwing grenade. Okay, two turns is good. Ninety-four and eighty. Let's take the ninety-four. This is this is us having the eighty aim. With the range bonus coming in handy. Dead and gone. And uh, let's try it with you. I think I will kill this one with the grenade if this misses. Look at us go! We are hitting 60 percenters. Way to go, stomp! I need to go stomp. We are not gonna get that. We are not gonna get that meld unless I rush. And because this garbage, garbage thing was destroyed, I don't think I can rush that much. Seven. I go here. One, two, three. Yeah, we are not getting that meld. Um. Yeah, I don't think we can get it. Which is fine. Um, I 
is a bit here. It would have been nice to get the meld, but it's, uh, it's the lowest priority. Nice. Only two sectoids. What is happening? They're falling back. What is happening? The rookies are hitting overwatch shots. They are hitting 60% shots. Game, game. Don't, don't eat all the good RNG now. Come on. We, we still need it. Still need it later. Ah, oh, this would be so good if, uh, if this was still there. Uh, so the sector is back there alone. It's a little tricky to get it. Mm. It's not activated yet. I mean, I mean, it's not on Overwatch yet. Uh, so I think we will see it from this corner. Solid copy. And now, since we don't care about that meld. It would actually be good if the melt was somehow destroyed. Uh, can anyone go for a shot? Not really, unless I throw a grenade. And I think one sectoid we wouldn't be using. Wouldn't be using one. Hmm. Wonder if I can see them by opening this door. They could come for a flanking shot for that one, so it's not good. Mm. Okay, you can jump through the windows because there's stuff on the way. All ah, right, yeah, you, we can't we can't jump in, so that changes things a little bit. Um. Heading to that location. Yeah, we don't we don't have much. Well, I don't know. I uh, I don't know if it's good good day good year for lottery when we uh, when we've had so much the other way as well. So I guess it's all balances out. I, I went here, I went here, but now I'm considering of pulling them back and letting this guy run run to us, or even hunkering them down and see what the sectoid does. And overwatching with others, possibly get them on grenade range. They, would, they might pop up from that side. You know what? I think it's better if I hunker down and overwatch. And uh, we'll see what it does. And if it pops in, we will get a shot at it. Okay. I think it went behind the... I think it went there behind. Uh, it's not great that we don't see it now. I don't really like that. But uh, let's see if we can Overwatch kill it. That's good. That's good for us. Okay, it might have been backing away even further. Uh, I'll see if it comes back. This means we will lose the other meld, but we don't care. Shh. I think I heard something. Yeah, that sound was like really far away. I hate the fact that it can be there on Overwatch. Wait one more turn. Get him. Hey. And that was Wolpix because it was five. 
five damage, so that was uh, that was 80. 80 aim right there. Okay, that was good that I waited. Uh, the other meld is practically gone already. Uh, so we will not rush for it. Let's uh, let's go forward with uh, with the support here I'm on it, Commander. until here and see what we see. We see the other meld. It's a meld somewhere now. It's probably like a couple of turns left on that or something. Moving. Stepping off. Roger that. Let's reload after this turn. Okay, that's more sec though. It's a, that's a nice sound Rock to hear. Back online. Back in. Let's do this. The other meld was lost already, so that's fine. What was that sound? Heading out. Let's use the inside to get closer. Roger, tracking. Got it covered. That's affirmative. Instead of going going there. Using uh, blue Moving moves just in case they wander into our sight, which Got they it might. Got it yeah, they might be in the back alley. Back alley more than okay. See, I see the melt was there. Okay, I will. I will take a look at. Uh, I think I need to reload. Yeah, this door is uh, this door is bucked. Sometimes happens when you do explosions and uh, explosions and stuff. Okay, there we go. I'm rolling. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Roger. I've got, got my coming. eyes on. Watch. Right. I've got my eyes on. No sound this time, so I, they either stood still or uh, something else. Location. Okay. Roger, tracking. Moving to position. Headed there now. I'm on it. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Yeah, I know you are there. Come, come see us. Do we do we deal with what's inside before those sectoids or do we creep towards them? Hmm. Let's change the position of these guys. I'm on the move. I will put heavy on this side so that they can shoot a rocket through the door next turn. Okay. Get some on it. I feel when I open it yeah. and if we see something. Uh. 
Okay, that's it. Just make it. I think they might be too far. Nope, they are not. So we have a kill, kill on two of them. Kill on two of them, uh, which means we can do a little bit of uh, riskier maneuvers. Uh, of course, potentially getting additional enemies on us as well, but we have a smoke if uh, if everything fails. Oh, but right, we still need to think we are not necessarily getting kill on that one. Uh, might get a flanking snow. This will probably block the vision if we go here and potentially additional enemies. Okay, so two of them are dealt with easily, so to speak. Um, but this one, and this one will have shots, but no. Hmm. Shots, but no grenade on it. So I'm thinking maybe we put the rookies in there, we shoot, and then we smoke them. Yeah, it's 55 percent, sir. That's affirmative. 40 percent on you. Just making sure that uh, it's not in the range of grenade. <sighs> it was actually close. Uh, okay, I could have gone there, but I'm not sure if I had to move. Okay. Uh, these two with Shredder. See if we could even remove that cover with the same shots. I don't think not quite. Uh, what's the normal rocket picker? Uh, no. The Shredder... Shredder has benefits of uh, us getting like not killing something with it uh, yeah we can't we can't quite get this cover here as it's just out of the out of the range for that uh, yeah it's not happening I'm thinking that uh, will I save the shredder for something if we get thin men but I don't think so yeah let's just shoot those guys it has Melda Kelder. How do Happy New Year as well. Explosives! In the spirit of Barry in Jack Lines. Uh, let's try to. I think Stomp got promotion, or oh no, they both got promotions already. That's good. Amazing. What? 55 hits, 40% hits. We are hitting everything on this mission. Come on, game. I Don't, don't use all the luck in one mission. No, don't do it. <laughs> okay, thank you for missing a shot. <laughs> You know, you know what? I kinda love that. I kinda love that. I think we have a. I think we have a kill there on all of them. Uh, did we? Why? Why are you showing? Oh, I was. I was shooting up in the air. Okay, we have a kill. Nice. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful.
That was a critical! We don't even need this luck now! Game! We don't need this luck now! We don't need this! Why? Why, why is everything working now? XCOM. What a game. Absolutely brilliant. Won't even know what hit him. Operational objectives completed. We hit almost every shot in that. Like even even the overwatch shots we hit. I, I take that. I take the win. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was something. No, no melt though, so I guess it could have been better. <laughs> like, what a... We, we go we go on a, such a roller coaster on these missions. We go like, hey, yay, very nice. We kill everything super easy, and then we go like, ah, everyone work, dies. Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Lieutenants already. Lieutenants already, and we get assault and we get a sniper. The game is providing, and crazier as a sniper did have a high aim as well. So this is ah. Uh, Let's let's take this in now because soon I will soon I will be down in the dumps again. Let's enjoy this now while it lasts. Nice, nice. They got uh, they got a huge increase in their aim on the level up. Love it, love it, and they got the hit point as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, uh, ooh, even Vulpix got two extra aim. Beautiful. And they got the hit points. Love it. Um, ooh. Ooh. Heat ammo will be so good. It will be so good later. It's a long term investment. Rapid reaction is a fantastic one as well. But uh, heat ammo will we'll need that later. Uh, and I'm I'm hoping to keep Vulpix alive. I can't believe we have a lieutenant already. Four missions, 24 kills. Hard carry. Hard carry of the whole campaign. Run and gun. Uh, no hit point for the assault, sadly. Hey, Mr. Faber. Uh, it's going downs and ups. We just had an up. We had a big up, but before this we had to run away from a UFO mission because two two soldiers died and we had to uh, abort abort the mission. Uh, Thinman Thinman got us, but uh, this was going good, and overall it's still going great. I thought you get defenders medal. Only when someone dies. Is that giving a is that giving a notification about uh, Oh right, and we get extra heavy as well. We will be uh, is that giving the notification here. notification about that because we uh Yeah, we had one that we hadn't given. Okay. But we did get additional urban combat patch. Uh, let's see the let's see the extra heavy that we got. Extra heavy and uh, we will we will name them as well. Let me see. Mm, Fifty seven aim. Uh, they have uh, they have all the hit points they can. I believe will is good. Uh, aim is really low. Aim is really low for this one. 
Um, let's make them green until this will be um, this will be Adam. Adam M. Adam. Adam M. <laughs> uh, again, I'm naming these for my Patreon Patreon backers. So big thanks, big thanks to those especially. But uh, even you just here watching, if you are enjoying this, that's uh, that's always always enough. So don't don't feel like you need to, for example, give on to Patreon. Patreon, but uh, I just want to show support to some of these people who have been supporting me for like five, six, even up to ten years, uh, more or less nonstop. So thanks, thanks Adam as well. Uh, another heavy. Let's uh, let's decide on the abilities. So we have a rocket. Them uh, them with uh, kind of a not so great aim. Uh, Hollow targeting could be good. So I could have like a suppress suppression, suppression heavy. Uh, I think I will not pass on the shredder rockets. They are just so useful. On the other hand, the thirty penalty to aim. This can be, this can be a huge, huge lifesaver. So. Maybe. Let's say we have some Thin Man in full cover. We hit it with Suppression, which also gives the holo targeting. Uh, that Thin Man is so, so much less likely to hit us after that. So I think. I think I will go for holo targeting Suppression. We'll still get the one rocket, even without Shredder. Uh, I could of course go could go for bullet swarm and suppression. Uh, skip the skip the holo targeting, but this might mean that we get something behind full cover that we can't otherwise reach. So uh, let's go for this combo that we have kind of a shooting high aim heavy and then support uh, suppression uh, heavy on the other one. Oh, that's right. I took a, I took a medikit for that previous mission. Was that was that all because of that? Shit. It might have been. Might have been. Okay, we are getting uh, get, getting additional soldiers soon. Uh, back on the notes. Back on the notes. We need we need the workshop on the sixth. Six, so that's the next thing we watch. Uh, the countries that we, we didn't go for the abduction, they are panicking, of course. Actually, no, only one. As as we as we learned, we uh, Canada only went to three. Uh, Europe is quite dangerous. We really don't want to lose Russia. So in the next mission, we might need to go to Europe because I, I don't want to lose the 150, <laughs> being specific. I don't mind losing Europe as far as the continent bonus goes, but I don't want to lose that 150, at least not yet. So because we can't, we can't reduce Russia's panic anymore, we might need to go to Europe on the next mission. Um, next mission but uh, let's see the it's it's getting a little bit hairy hairy with uh, with the panic uh, germany is getting satellites then some other countries are getting satellites as well but the ones that already have it we can't reduce so it will be will be a bit of a challenge and your kind of a report states that the alien craft crash landed in the garage of a suburban middle class family tanner residence <laughs> look into it um, South Africa getting a satellite is kind of going into waste because we have the continent bonus already. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go here and scan for scan for just a little bit. Uh, we got the soldiers. 
Okay. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of human and machine? That was the access lift. Access lift getting done. We refuse to cross it, or will we move forward, willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of total victory? I have uh, yeah, to that's that is not our future, provided, of course, that the alien's technology remains in the right hands. I don't remember we had an elf joke, an elf joke in here. I think I, I think I heard that, seen that before, but I don't remember that it was in game. Okay, um, excavates, excavates, workshop. And the workshop is finished. Finished on the 16th when we start building the next uh, next uh, satellite uplink. Uh, the satellites on this month need to be on 10th, so let's uh, let's be mindful of that. We could order the satellites already. Let me see if I need to build anything else, and how much does it cost? Because we are not going to wait for the workshop anyway, so we might as well get the satellites now, right? Uh, in theory, we might get the abduction with engineers, but we probably go for the credits anyway, or or a unit. So, we need a power generator, which is cheap. We build it here. Uh, it will be only sixty. So we have we have the money to spend. Uh, nope, don't go there. Let's click. Uh, 35 power, so we need a power generator here. And that will, that will happen in time. Just in time for the satellite's uplink. Okay, we can order the satellites now, we don't need to wait for the 11th. Uh, we did sell the scopes to the commander. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional. I will order these separately again, just so I can cancel them if if we get into absolute disaster. Having a backup satellite is not a bad idea because then you could launch one if one is shot down. Um. But we are quite tight on the credits for now. So we still need... We need a power generator this month for the for this overall strategy level. That puts us at, at 135. Puts us at 135 and... Um, so that means we could build the officer training school when we get the power. This month already. And we have a little bit of extra stuff to sell with the floater corpses. With sectoids we could go all the way to 75 even. Yeah, we have like 100 that we can somewhat easily spend. But that uh, that fifth fifth squad member would be huge and we are not that far because the, on the next level up we would even get 6. Uh so that would be that would be a big. Um we did get the additional soldiers that we that we ordered. Uh four of them. So let's go. Let's go and check their stats and also name them. So we get high will, uh, just a little bit below average aim. And with this this fellow here, we have Ombre. Ombre joining us. Then we have uh, low will, uh, average aim. 
And we have Ixtril joining us. And then we have the next one with below average aim, not not so great rookies, sadly. Uh high slightly higher will. Uh, so minus ten aim and plus seven on the will. And we have we have Lobsterminator. Luckily, we have we have enough time, for, uh, enough space for that one. And then the last new soldier we got with uh, somewhat somewhat high will and minus five on the aim. So not not so not so lucky with these guys. Uh, we have uh, we have Ashok. And uh, Ashok, I will I will use your. Uh, Use your uh, Twitch title for that, so let's put uh, put you in. Okay, so that's good. Now we have a little bit of uh, soldiers to spare. Soldiers to spare there, and uh, we still have a couple of Patreon backers. Backers on the list. Then a couple of the community gifts up. Leaderboard leaders. So we have Blade, Blade, Mako, Motherburn, Vanta, Redact, Munakas coming. Then uh, I didn't add to the list the recent Patreon backers yet, but uh, I might also check the long-term long -term tip, tip and uh, cheering lists that uh, for, the, for the support on this run. I do also do like uh, just people from the chat and YouTube comments naming, whether it's for something like this or Dwarf Fortress, wherever I can name name things. But anyway, that's great. Uh, that's great. Mm. The Assault... Assault could use... The Defense in Cover. So we'll give Stomp. Plus five. They did well on that previous mission. Very nice shots. Very nice shots. And we still have one of those. Um, they're not gonna panic one. Let's see about that. So we have kind of average will. Machine has quite a low will for for their level, so I think machine could take the panic one. Also, they will be the one potentially saving people later. Uh, hopefully, they level up soon, so we uh, we get stuff for them. So let's give the defenders medal. Not gonna panic for um, for machine. Uh, will I upload this series to YouTube as well? Yes, yes. This is uh, this is going there. Uh, fully, fully unedited in a way. This uh, this su so-called successful run, and uh, I'll see how I edit together all the failed attempts. I will, I might post them as is, and then also do a unedited version for anyone who wants to watch the fails. <laughs> Fails later on as well. We have one more defender one, and then we have the the plus aim one. The plus uh, the or the the one that depends on the council bonuses, um, which will kind of increase over time. I might give it to the I might give that to the sniper, but maybe I'll wait that uh, if they, <laughs> if they stay alive, and also uh, the bonus actually goes up a bit. But we do have the plus five, plus five defense one. Maybe I'll wait with that a bit. Like get it for another assault. Another assault or such. But let's try to remember that uh, that Vulpix, Vulpix and Stomp have the defender's medal. So uh, uh, the urban combat badge. And... That means they have plus five defense. So if someone needs to be uh, in the line of sight of enemies and take shots, it should be Stomp or Vulpix. Uh, 
let's check in here. So we have the excavation going when that is done. When that is done, we are going to build the power generator. We already ordered satellites. Just reminding myself of my notes. Um, so that will happen on the 11th, but the excavation won't pause the game. The experimental warfare, warfare will, but I will, I will pause the game on the 11th. We ordered, ordered the satellites. The deadline for that was 10th. We ordered them before. So now next deadline is uh, 11th for the power generator. Because we need the power after the excavation for the satellite uplink. So let's do that. Oof. Okay. <laughs> That went, that went fast because I, I was hitting the space bar. So we got the experimental uh, warfare, which means we can build build some stuff. We're able to build the... Oof, that's loud. <laughs> More loudness coming, I guess. We can build the foundry as well. We have the Phoenix Phoenix cannon as well. So we can it can do more damage, but, uh, but we need... Uh, it's shorter range. Okay. Uh, it's not 11th yet. It's not 11th yet, so I need to do one more... One more quick... Uh, quick pause thing there. Um, I, I wish... I wish these would pause the game as well. Um, it's so annoying that it doesn't. Hmm... But uh, but yeah, let me see. Can I can I build those like right away? Flashbang grenade is is really good. Kind of uh, underrated. Uh, nanofiber vest is great as well. But then we sacrificed uh, sacrificed the grenades, and uh, at least now we still need it. Later on, we might get one of those. Um. Arming one of the one of the two interceptors with Phoenix Cannon might be worth it. Um, so I don't think we're gonna get as lucky with the interceptors as we did against the medium UFO where they barely took a shot. Perfect timing. Perfect timing on that. So let's come in here. And after this, we don't have to worry. Because this will give us the pause. So power generator here, where it gives the adjacency bonus together with the other one. Start building that. So that will now finish on the 16th. Just in time for us to build a satellite uplink in here. And for that satellite uplink, we already have the money. And the workshop will give the engineers. We only only have 35 to spare. We only have 35 to spare, so... Um, mm, before we get more credits or sell stuff. We need this slot... This slot for a workshop. Uh, access lift and steam generator would be great for power. Um, yeah, we can we can sell the corpses and we might get a mission as well. Uh, some mission before the, before that. Uh, so I kind of kind of want to dig. I want to dig this already. Uh, we do have the corpses. Uh, access lift we will not build yet. This will be next month. Will be next month. Mm. 
We need to do this at some point, but uh, this will be the satellite's uplink next month, so we are not in a rush with that. Uh, even this we don't necessarily need to do right now, but uh, because we eventually need to do it might as well. And it might give me an option to do a power generator in here, like this, and then do the workshop in there. But let's see, the steam here might help help us with that with that decision. Okay, but that puts us puts us with the stuff we need to do. Uh yeah, we are all set. We are all set for April with that, so it's kind of already already pretty good. But let's see what happens next and uh, go from there. So we had a UFO immediately in the beginning of the month. Might get another UFO, but it's I think it's unlikely. Uh, another abduction is coming. And second month we are going to get a terror mission. So I'm hoping the terror mission happens next when we have everyone healthy. So we could get the best team for that. Um... Yeah, I can't. I can't afford. Um, can't afford the officer training school together with uh, with the satellite uplink. Unless we get the abduction with credits, so I can't build it yet. Even with the corpses that we can sell, that UFO loot that we didn't get because I had to abort that one, that would have come in really handy. And we could have the officer training school going and go for that squad upgrade, but. Uh, Let's try to survive this month. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. That's happened faster. Please, please don't be bomb disposal. Well, we learned last time that uh, even that it was the, in in a way, easy target distraction, it still killed me. Oh. Oh, we are heading into portents already. Okay, well this is kinda good. This is kinda good good because this is this is scripted. Well not scripted, but it's effectively a target extract. And um uh, We can do pretty pretty well on this. So this this leads into this is the Wait, which one is this? Because we have the... No, we have, this is the DLC port and, and then we have the slingshot. So this is the... This is the one that gives us the... Yeah, a lot of, lot of thin men on this. But we can control most of them as they, uh, as they are triggered by the extract. But... Um, so in this one, we are extracting extracting a survivor and eventually this storyline leads into us getting um us getting uh Psy soldier or soldiers if done successfully the 150 from this is really good i really like to see that one excellent we look forward to seeing your progress Okay, I forgot to customize the colors of these, so let's do that before we decide the team. Ah, uh, that was uh, that was the wrong wrong button. I kind of forgot that you can change the looks like this. I forgot about that. Um, assault, I have them five, have them as white. Now let's change the assault to this one, and let's give you a let's give you a badass helmet as well. I think I like that one. Let's go with that. Oh, that is 
That is traditional sniper look that I use. It looks one of the reasons why I have the blue whites, <laughs> a blue yellow on the snipers because it makes this uh, this helmet look so so great. So let's go with that for crazier. Um, right, but then uh, let's decide the team from a clear table. Um, so Vulpix is coming. Uh, this has a lot of thin men. So the suppression heavy will help with this. Uh, we will get um, we will get the sniper because we want to get them kills. Uh, but is this the mission to do it? We will get stomp as the as the assault. Um, do we do we get the sniper in this? I think we will. Because we can uh, we can control control the thin man on the way back pretty well. Yeah, we'll take the sniper. Mm. The medikits, we are definitely taking it because of Thin Men. But I think I will put it on the Assault. Even that that was uh, kind of not working when I did it last time. Uh, but they are the most likely to be in Poison. Because they might need to go point blank with Thin Men. So let's give them the medikits. Let's give them the medikit, and then uh, I think this is the team. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The thin men are controlled by the movement of the of the guy we are extracting, but uh, the hard part is getting getting in there. Yeah, the three HP assault, or oh, well, four HP assault. Uh, it's not uh well they are free HP and one from the no armor we got. Yep, that is that is that is not great. I think Crazier did get uh yeah they have hit points, but the assault doesn't, which is kind of silly. <laughs> uh the heavies heavies do have hit points, yeah. So assault is the weakest one, finally. Yeah, I think we are good to go on this. Um, I've had quite a lot of breaks breaks today, but I think I will have here one as well. Hopefully, those of, those of you watching don't mind. And uh, let's. Uh, I honestly thought that the game crashed <laughs> because of that sound. Jeez, game, don't scare me. Uh, but yeah, let's have a break. And again, those of you watching on YouTube, you know what to do. The next part in the playlist. And uh, I will see you there on the next part. Until then, take care and bye bye. And for you guys watching live, just a couple of minutes and uh, we'll be right back.